on Friday morning, I had a very interesting experience, a very interesting lesson, which I was able to learn and use for myself. I was on the way in a car service to an interview, which I had to be for 11 o'clock. I had to be in an interview for 11 o'clock. And I was in a car service in a taxi on the way to that interview. I realized that A, I haven't got enough, I don't have money, I don't have cash to pay for the, for the car service driver. And B, I need to be at that interview for 11 o'clock. Now, I only had 10 minutes and usually that drive in a car service would have taken about 15, 20 minutes. I was very careful and I remembered a lot of the new ideas I've been tapping into. And that is A, smile in such a predicament, which I did. I started smiling. And B, I said to myself, Jessica, you're gonna be all right. You're gonna be just fine. This day is gonna turn out amazing. So I sat very calmly in that taxi. Everyone could relate to a similar story. You're running late in a car service. And But what did I do this time? I sat in a calm fashion and I said, Jessica, you're gonna be all right. Um, now it's worth noting that, and this is sort of like a, pre a precedence to the following, follow on to the story. I've stopped listening to the news. It's been now a week since I stopped listening to the news. I'm trying to stay away from negative vibes. So I stopped listening to the news because the news takes you into a lower frequency, into a very unpredictable, uncontrollable way of thinking. You can't control the news while I listen to it. For years I follow the news and and I felt like things there, there are realities in it which I can't control. So I stopped following the news. And Aaron Dury actually talks about this. He says that when you follow the news, you go into a very limited mindset. So it's over a week now I started following the news. But I'm in the car service going to this interview. And the radio is on. And Theresa May is talking. She resigned. Now... I was ups I was upset, obviously upset. Theresa May resigned, the second female prime, prime minister, and I started tearing up. But I did something amazing. Whilst Theresa May was talking about how she's leaving Downing Street, which is the place where the prime minister lives in this country, I said to myself, no, Theresa May is not leaving Downing Street. She's actually going to Upper Street. So she's leaving Downing Street, but going to Upper Street. Because I was in positive mode. Now, remember, I'm rushing, rushing to an interview and I got to be there on time because a minute late is detrimental. So I'm rushing to this interview. I'm smiling and I'm saying, no, Theresa May is going to Upper Street. She's finished at Downing Street and she's going to Upper Street. I got into the interview. I was successful. It was awesome. I aced it. What's the point in the story? The point in the story is that when you start tapping into your deeper sense of self when you start when you start putting yourself in a situation in a predicament whereby you are in control of your of your of your your the reality around you you start going to higher places and you start finding meaning and ways to deal with disappointment it's worth noting that on thursday my friend told me that she's in a difficult financial predicament and she needs to pay somebody money which she owes them and she didn't have any access to the money I said to her, don't worry, you're going to get that money very shortly. And after I finished texting her this message, I thought to myself, Jessica, do you realize what you just said? Like, where did you get that from? You're going to get that money quickly. How do you know that? I said, don't worry, I feel it and I know it. And two hours later, she told me, Jessica, you need to start taking Kvitlach. I got that money. It's unbelievable. I got that money. I don't know how it could be. And I started realizing that I'm tapping it. Whilst I'm tapping into a more positive, deeper sense of self, which is a lot about what the Kabbalists talk about, gurus in India talk about, Aaron Dori, um, Leah Alexander, all these people, they've been teaching me these amazing lessons of tapping into your deeper sense of self and being more united with the universe. And believing in your sense and your powers. So I saw these two stories which happened to me within the space of less than 24 hours and I said why not move forward with it and I saw another miracle yesterday and I'm seeing more miracles as the days go on. 
is positivity and is tapping into that positivity and realizing that the world works for you, not to you. The world doesn't work against you. It works with you. And I'm tapping into that kind of tapestry. Who would have predicted that in May 2019, I will be sitting next to a keyboard, a violin, a guitar? <laughs> I could have never predicted that. Unbelievable stuff. Awesome stuff. I'm elevating myself to a higher place. Also worth noting that I don't feel hurt towards the people of my, of my past. I'm going to be careful not to fall prey to those who dislike me, but I don't feel any hurt towards those people of the past. And I'm very grateful for the lessons that they taught me. I don't feel hatred towards anybody anymore. I've drawn that demarcation line on Thursday and I do not feel hatred towards anybody anymore. I am moving higher and higher and higher. Whilst yes, I'm going to be vigilant because you got to be vigilant in the world, but I'm moving to a higher place, to a higher plateau, and I cannot be hurt like in the past. Awesome stuff. If you want to get my videos right away, as soon as they come out, press the subscribe button. It's worth it. I am moving to a higher place. I'm going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. I'm not the same person of the past. And whilst you come with, along with me on my journey, you're going to also elevate yourself to a higher place of meaning, of positivity, of high vibes, and of success. I'm going to show you how to be successful. I'm doing the research and I'm taking you along with me on my journey. If you want to come, remember, you could do it. I'm doing it. I've done it. I've been through a lot of difficulties in my life. You know, it's, it's interesting. I have an interesting story here. Um, and it's only started, I only started configuring this, this reality once I started tapping into my deepest sense of self and my subconscious mind. On Shabbos morning, on Saturday morning, I woke up and I said, you know something? When my brother died in a tragic way, I was 11 years old and two months. When I left my oldest son, I was 11 years old and two months, almost to the day. And I was like, wow. It's almost like just a, a, a historical dynamic which played out in my life. I was blown away. I said, that's just unbelievable. I could take the pain of the past and, and the pain of the present Rather, not so much the present. Yeah, it's the present because I miss my son a lot. I can take that pain and elevate myself to a higher place. You can come along with me on this journey and you will get to a higher place as well. Awesome stuff. I'm moving forward and I really believe that the world is changing with me. See you later.